So what we're going to do is we're going to set up multiple ad creatives. Okay. okay. And again, this is us, create. Yeah. should I go to create? Yep. Go ahead and click on create. And let's just go ahead and, 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 and let's, let's somewhat mirror the first one. So we're going to go conversions and the first one, we named it Jessica ad with blue shirt and maybe just, yeah. just do the same thing, but just put the number two, you know, maybe okay. just, just name it. Yeah. Um, Right there at the um, top, just put, you know, number two or something. That way we know this is the second one. Okay. Perfect. And then in, in parentheses, conversions. Okay. Always conversions. Yeah, I always yes, forget. Conversions. Your kids are adorable, by the way. Oh, thank oh, you, Christine. I love that picture. They're so cute. Oh, they're just, yeah, they're a handful. And yeah, my 13 year old, blessing. I have a 13 year old too, and he's a huge help as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so these little ones. How often is he with you, the 13 year old? How what? How often does he get to spend time with you? Oh, I'm, I'm with him all the time. I'm with him every oh, other day. Awesome. Yeah, every, oh, good. Yeah, 50 50. So oh, good. That has, um, yeah, that's kind of, that's the way it's been since day one. You know, we, we split when he was two. Um, uh -huh. So from two and on, you know, that's kind of been the schedule, just 50 50. Just, oh, nice. and it worked out. It, it worked, it, he, you know, he's a really good, really, really good kid. Like it really worked out. Like he's, sometimes when you have a kid going back and forth so many times, it kind of psychologically, it kind of throws them off, you know? But yeah. Thank God. It, it, it really, I don't know if it, I don't think it did. Like he's a good kid. He's happy and he's good. a good kid. Good. Um, well, he must, it must be, you must have a good relationship with his mother too. I mean, yeah, she, must, we, we yeah. were, we were, we were best friends for, for a very long time until we kind of had some kind of a little falling out recently because oh. she just ended up, you know, doing some stuff that, that I didn't, I didn't agree with and not uh -huh. even telling me about it. Like she ended up moving oh. You know, she ended up moving 45 minutes away from me and, oh, wow. and not even telling me about it. So yeah, we had a little falling out for the, from, for that, you know, but you know, we're, we're cool. Other than that, you gotta be cool with these people. You gotta be cool with your ex man. Cause if not, it's yeah, freaking hell. Yeah. My, my son um, was married and 12 years and then they divorced and yep. uh, she is horrible she uh they had one child a girl who he loved you know she was the most he had more love for her than anybody mm -hmm. and uh he lost her the mother kid the mother brainwashed her oh, and man. yeah so he's yeah. you know he feels like he said i have a friend who lost a son at 19 well 21 mm -hmm. is when he actually died from brain cancer oh. and i my son knows her would they they were kids together in arizona and i said oh I don't know how Kim can handle it. What a horrible thing. He goes, Mom, I lost a daughter too. She's not dead, but she's gone, you know, but she's dead yeah. to me. Man. And I feel so sorry. It was his only child. And yeah, so he oh, and he does, he's oh, only got God. seven kids now. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Oh, man. God it's bless life, you. But it's good that you have a, a mother of your child who at least has tried to cooperate, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. But his never cooperated. Even he could have put her in jail because mm -hmm. the judge. Did court. I went to court every time with him, and there were court orders. Mm -hmm. But she violated them every single time. Okay, okay. So we'll um leave this one off. Campaign budget optimization. We're gonna we're gonna leave that one. We're gonna leave that one off, and then we'll just go to um next. Next. So that's the first step, just choosing the conversion, choosing the housing category, and then and then next. Okay, so over here, we're going to go. Um, and I put the thing in here again. Yes. Jessica, so, Ed. Actually, no, here is just, is just simply the ad set. So just give it some type of title for the ad set. The ad set is you're targeting the city, the town, the address, the, the, the location, whatever. Like, I'll just put something there that will help yeah. me know what what area i'm targeting that's the ad yeah, i think 15 mile radius so. yeah that's fine that's whatever helps you yeah that's fine perfect okay so one way to split test and that's what this is all about is split testing seeing seeing which one works right one way to do it is through 
multiple ad sets. And this is your ad set. This is the second tab. This is level okay. two. This is your ad set right. level. Okay. So, okay. so first one way one to, was, what's that? First one was campaigns. Now yes. we're on the ad set. Now we're on the okay. ad set. So one way to split test is where you, where you choose multiple locations to see which location is the one that's bringing you the ROI. Now, in your case with a local business, you're only focused on one location. So we don't need multiple ad sets for your, okay. for your ad. So okay. we're going to just simply come down and we'll just simply put the daily budget. Let's just go. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go daily budget. Actually, no, we're going to drop it because we're going to, we're going to add more. We're going to now what we're going to do is we're going to set up multiple ad creatives. So, okay. so what that means is Facebook is going to, is going to spend money on each individual image and they're going to let us know which one is performing. So here, what we want to do five. is we want to do five. Yeah, we'll do five. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and change that date for the next day. Uh -huh. It's always the next day at 6 a.m. Right. Okay, perfect. And then now okay. we'll, just, we'll we won't leave an end date. No, we'll just we'll just leave everything as okay. is, and um, we'll change out the location so that United Where States up. You just passed it. The United States. Go ahead and change that out that location. Okay, so perfect. So there goes that address. And then now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just simply leave everything the same below so yeah we'll type that in we're always looking for the drop down okay perfect. okay and leave everything else leave the age same. leave the gender detailed targeting don't need we don't uh -huh. need in the language change out the language up language there is language because yeah, i need to do that because i don't want people i can't speak to so um and it's language. automatic right no up language go to language Edit the language. Edit English. Yeah. Just hit the English drop down. Okay. Yep. And that's it. And then scroll down. And that's it. So that's step two. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's it. Simple. And then now hit next. We're going to leave automatic placements. So go ahead and just go next. And this is where we set up the first, the first ad. So um, the first image. So now all that is, mm -hmm. is, 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 is okay. So now go to um, scroll down. We're going to create ad. So scroll down. Leave I don't it have to do. A new ad. Yeah, you just. I don't have Jessica. to do a new ad. You could put whatever. I mean, okay. whatever is going to help you know what. Jessica. Add. So yeah, Jessica, Jessica add too. blue shirt, and then just put yeah Jessica too. Okay, perfect. So we'll scroll down, and then we're going <laughs> to choose the image. So we're going to add media right there. Add media down. A little lower. Okay. Add media. Okay. So now we're going to grab each image, but we're going to do one at a time. So we're going to just grab one image um, and they should all be right here. So let's just go left to right. Perfect. So right there, the top one left, choose that one and then just hit next. Okay. So now what you can do is you can, um, you can check the boxes to the left, a vertical, a horizontal, square. I can so crop a little. Yeah. You can crop it and, and go ahead and click crop. And so now it'll just allow you to just um, either go original or you can go full screen vertical. That's all you could do. Okay. Click on click on full full screen vertical to the left. Okay, so that's not the oh, one you want original. No. Yeah, you want original. Yeah. Just go. No, I was wanting to um, take that band aid out, but I, no, they, they don't let you. Drop yeah, it. it's fine. So they um, don't. It's there to drop, but they don't let you do it. Okay. Yeah. So just, and then also check the boxes to the left, vertical, horizontal, square. You think horizontal? Check, check all of them. Just check all of them. Square is better. I like square better. Okay. Yeah. That, that one's the good. Vertical. Right the vertical, do the vertical. It's going to be for stories. So check all the boxes to the left. Oh, all of them? Okay. Well, that's, that's vertical. So, so right. uncheck the vertical and see what it looks like again. Uncheck the vertical. See, so that's what it would look like. So go to the box. 
go to what? Check the box, vertical. Okay, but that's so, for stories. This is the one that's going to actually. Be it. Yeah, this yeah, is going to so, actually be it or this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead and hit done. So we're good there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just simply grab the text. Um, we need we need the text. So scroll so down. Here. Yeah, you can go so to, go to go to the page. Yeah, you can go to the page, and just grab the text, and then we need the link for the landing page. Okay. Putting that verbiage. Okay, so you'll scroll down. And then right here, primary text. Okay. Oh, it's got a place for headline. Yeah, that's that's why we're doing it this way. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So go ahead and space all that out and um, just maybe drop the, I wanted to tell you, maybe drop that down a line. Oh, okay. Yeah, just clean it up a little bit. Yeah, because it did look nice on the other one. And then maybe I'll drop this down and I'll drop this down. Okay. Okay. So that bottom click, learn more to download. Let's, let's, let's cut that. Don't oh, delete okay. it, but just highlight it and cut and maybe Should bring that down. Copy what? it. Copy no. it. No, cut it. No. So right click and just paste it in the headline. Oh, we'll see. I was going to copy it. Okay. Hold so on. I'm just right going to in the headline. Oh, okay. Yeah, wait. I'm just gonna have to delete some of this. Oh, so you want me to? Okay, so click learn more to download the same information guide I gave Jessica on things to consider before selling your home. So um, let's just shorten that a little bit. So um, maybe just take away click learn more to just put a capital D on the download and just maybe let's let's use that as the first word. So download the same information guide I gave Jessica. Yeah, just let, let's do that. Download the same information guide I gave Jessica. That's it. So delete the rest of it. Oh, the same information guide I gave this Jessica? Okay. That's it. I got period. It. And then delete the rest. Yeah. Period, so period not after Jessica. And then just delete on things to consider before selling. Yeah, so delete all that. Delete on. Yep. So just leave it at that. Yeah. So download, download the same information guide I gave Jessica. That's it. Okay. okay. And then, um, and then the landing page, oh, you need the website okay. URL. Right here. Okay. Okay. So now scroll down. That's the learn more button. We don't, so we're good there. Here. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, tracking, keep going lower. So there's the, um, the, um, Okay, so click on website events. Check that box, website events. Okay, perfect. So there goes your pixel. Okay, good. Right. Okay, so we're good. So now publish. Okay, so here's what we did. We just set up one full-blown ad, right? right? One image, publish. Hit the green one, publish it. Yeah, this you see the, the, see, look, there it is. There's what? the title. Um, there's the title, you see it? Yeah, it's yeah. Working. We're going to click on publish. So, um. That's one full blown ad. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in. So we published it. Now it's set to go live tomorrow, 6 a.m. We publish the first ad. Now as we come in and do the second and third, we don't publish it just yet. Okay. So, oh, so now let's yeah. X out in the top left. X out. Okay. So so go ahead and and um and um. Yes, you're gonna. So from right here, we're gonna we're gonna create. Go ahead and click the green button from here. So create. Go ahead and create. And we're gonna leave, and we're gonna go um, conversions. Yeah. Continue. Right. Continue. Do I still put? So now check this box over here because we're going off of the same campaign and we're going off the same right. ad set. All okay. we're doing over here on the third tab to the right is we're creating a new image. No, don't check that. Oh, don't so, check it. So now just hit the green button, create. So everything is going off the campaign. Everything's going off the ad set, right? So the campaign stays the same. The ad set stays the same. We're changing the image of the ad. 
Right. Okay. Gotcha. That and what you're going to want to start doing is, is naming these, naming, naming it. Cause let's X out this real quick. X out. This or the whole thing. Actually, you know what? Leave it, leave it, leave it. Let's hit continue. Let's hit continue. We'll rename it later. Change the name. Okay. No, all that stays the same. The only thing we're working with is this second is this third tab. But what I'm saying is that you want to start titling and, and being very descriptive because now we're going, we're going to be putting in the second image. So you need to be able to look at your dashboard and see what image that is. So, so, and I'll show you, yeah, just leave that offset. Just, just leave that. Don't even, offset pick. That's fine. And I'll show you what I really mean once we're done with this. So okay. create ad, leave it there. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We're going to go add media and then just choose that second image. That's I mean, nice. That you could just, um, not have to do all that other stuff. We'll go with the second one. Go with the second one. Let's go. Let's go left to right. This is the offset picture, though. No, you don't want me to go with this one. Yeah, but uh, but we're gonna go left to right. So um, I mean, that's fine. You can go with this one. We got to go back into the middle one. Okay. Because we're doing three. Right. So so now go ahead and paste in that text. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do it again. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, go ahead and paste in the text. I got to get the text again. One second. Yeah. So when it comes to, when it comes to split testing, you have again, multiple ad sets. That's mainly for businesses that are advertising nationwide where, where okay. you're using multiple keywords um, to see which one performs. That's multiple ad sets over okay. here. We're doing multiple ad creatives, which is now putting in multiple images, doing setting up image ads multiple times, multiple ad creatives to see which image gives us the performance, right? Right. The third right. way to split test, the third way to split test is when you use everything the same, one image, you do all the, everything, one image, one ad set, everything, one, one, but now all you're doing is you're changing up the headlines. Okay. So we can come in here and do this five different times, same text, same uh -huh. image, but now we just have five different variations of the headline. Okay. That's another form of split testing. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we'll just do the image. Let's just do the image. So go ahead and put in your website URL. Um, oh, I do have to. Okay. Yeah. Just everything's wondering. the same. You gotta, you gotta make sure every, yeah. So we'll grab this tech, this, this link and, and just drop it in over there. Website, website URL. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I uh, hope I learned this someday. Christine, this is basic stuff. I don't know how you don't know it by now. No, because you're so, doing it. So every so check that box, website events. Always check that box. You got to see your pixel in there. So check the box, website events. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's there. Okay, so there's your pixel. Okay, so everything is good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually we already know it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go live. So go ahead and publish. Go ahead and publish. Publish. Okay. We won't worry about it's still live the same thing on the ant that we did on the ad sets. Yes. So now Everything. X out in the top left. So let's do this. Let's do this one more time. So X out. Okay. So now this one is in review. The top one is in review. Okay. So here's my point. When you're looking at it from this view, right? Mm -hmm. You need to know which image that is. That's why the title is so important. We got Jessica right. add blue shirt too. And then we have offset pick, right? So, so right. whatever's going to help you know which image that is, that's the title. You have to be very descriptive with your title because if not, yeah. you're going to have to click into it. You're going to click edit. You're going to have to go into the damn ad and see which one you were wearing, right? It's just too many clicks. I want to be able okay. to just look at this and know what image that was, what video okay. that was, right? By just looking at this. Right. So maybe I should have changed this to Jessica. Hit the little pencil right there. Hit the little pencil next to offset pick. Okay. Change that name. In, just in case we do more like this. Okay. Well, it's not just just in case you do more like this. It's just the fact that you got to know what image that is. You know. So okay. Jessica offset pick, perfect. Okay. So so now. Yeah, maybe, now it's this one. I think that's the only one wait, we did. No, no, do. no. That's not the one. We're, no, no, no. So now. X out one selected to the right, one selected, X out of that. Now go back to the campaigns tab. 
and check the box. So check the box next to the blue dot, click on the middle tab. And now this over here should be checked as well. Go ahead and check on that, check the box over here. And then now go to the third tab and we're gonna hit create. So now we're gonna just simply hit the green button and, and now more. Okay. use that third image. So go ahead and click create everything, the, the, the campaign, the ad set, that stays the same. Go ahead and name the third one. So the third one, the third one down. No, 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 no. The third one down, Christine. So name this ad. So just, again, uh, the type of image, you know, what image is that? I think it's a close up. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and hit continue. And then now all we're going to do is do the same thing. We're going to, we're going to copy all the text. We're going to add the website URL. We're going to check the box for website, web, web events. And that's it. So now add image. And I think it was this one. And so go ahead and check, check everything to the left, vertical, horizontal, square, and then, and then go ahead and just crop each one if, if needed. Um, just click on crop on all of them. Just take a look at it. So, so this one here, go, just go with the original. Oh yeah, original, definitely. Okay, okay, so apply, and then do do the other two. Just crop, take a look at it. Go original, yep, and then apply. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect, apply. Okay, good. Okay, so now done, and now just grab the text. Um, Oh, we're gonna have to we'll do the um, link to your web page. Let's see, where's the text right here? Yep. Now I got to fix it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the same thing that we used, yep. right? Ah. And then just, um, yeah, take out that part and then bring that download, bring that word back one space. Um, Which? On the headline? Download? Download, yeah. You Downloaded. Have it. Yeah, you got to you gotta bring it back. Doesn't seem to want to. No, move the cursor to to the right a little bit. You got one space. Just move the arrow, move the cursor to the right and then and then to the left. So just, yeah, click right there, click right there, and then just move it back. There you go. Okay. So put your link there, website URL, and then. Um, yeah. And, okay. Okay. And then down. So now just check website events. Check the box, website events. And that's it. So now hit publish, and you're good. So that's it. So now. You have these three images that are in review. They'll uh, approve later on today, and then they're all set to go live tomorrow. Okay. That's it. And so, so now, okay. four days later, so go ahead and X out of this to the top left. And then now, as we look at everything, go ahead and, and, and uncheck the one selected, the blue to the right. Hit that X, one selected. And then go ahead and click on the first tab, campaigns, and let's check now, this box over now here. What's that? Okay, this makes sense to me now. Check the box this to the left. This makes sense to me now. Yeah, yeah. Check the box to the left, and then just um, go to the third tab, ads for one campaign. So now, after a few days, we'll start to see each one yeah, numbers on each image. Okay. Perfect. That's what's going to allow us. Makes to sense to me now. 
spots. Yeah. Yeah. This I like okay. this way better than better than dynamic creative. We went with dynamic creative the first time, but 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 now that I know uh -huh. it, now that I know that that we don't get to see the metrics on which image is performing, then I wouldn't do that no more. I would just do it this way. This is multiple ad creatives. Um, this is setting up five dollars per day per ad per image. In, in a few days. So now we're at yeah. 15 bucks a day. So in the first few days, you'll be at 15 bucks a day, right? Just for the first three days. Perfect. And then on the fourth day, we're going to shut off two of the three. So okay. We're going to look at the numbers so here. Four, two, yeah. So we'll the end of the, the week or Saturday. Performing. Perfect. Thanks, David. This is going to be great. Should we talk Saturday then? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, um, Go to the calendar That's to schedule a time. Day. What's that? Yeah. It's the fifth day, but this doesn't run till tomorrow, so it'll be the fourth day it's running. Yeah, perfect. So just go to the calendar and schedule a call from there, and then we'll chat then. All right. I'll do it Saturday. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, okay, so Christine. I've You're so, so welcome. Talk to you then. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. All right.